Hey guys, and welcome to the In the Mic of Madness Patreon request, which we love doing these because people pick the movies for us. That seems to be the bane of our existence when we have to pick them. <clears throat> so today, as usual, I'm joined by Brad Thornton, who's drawing Hero. Disney characters getting fucked. And this is Re- pot. Uh-huh. <laughs> And Rebecca from what? Not quite final girl, girl or girl? Not girls, right? Girls, yes. Yeah, so plural, okay. And she did Judy from Sleepaway Camp last week, but she does not know what she's doing for next week. So I think you're going to have to have like a vote on what your next. Yeah. Week is. Or else I'll just pick like random, uh, not random. I'll pick like all my favorite slasher girls, like Judy. I'm trying to think of one that I want to see you talk about. Because what I like, what I want is, like, I want you to get deeper into, like, the backstory of their character and to kind of fill in the blanks of what you would assume their life was like just from the very vague details we're given. Mm -hmm. So that, that that would be the fun of it for me if I was doing those videos. So I'd love to see you explore those. I just but gotta... I don't like to make too much up, though. I'm not yeah. an assumer. I want to yeah. I want to see you do the bitch from Halloween 4 that then became she was the final girl but then in part 5 she was yeah. not. I want to hear She's you on talk my about list. that. I'm supposed to do yeah. Rachel, That's please come alive. Rachel and Tina cuz people hate on Tina. I didn't Why know do people hate Tina so much. I, I don't, don't get know, that. but I'm like, you know what? Justice for fucking Tina. So, sure. I started that at one point, Tina. but man, that's fucking two I, movies, two chicks. That's that's a that's a project. It's crazy like, to Judy, me. Judy, Judy, I know Judy and my sleep. I'm so annoyed that the girl who's in Halloween 4 who picks him up is supposed to be Lindsay Wallace. Her name is Lindsay in the movie. Um, and Tommy Doyle is also at the hardware store with them. That's the other guy with really? Wade and them. And the fact they had that written in there. So, yeah, the girl who comes and picks up Rachel... And um, the kid, they, they, that's supposed to be, that's supposed to be a little Lindsay Wallace grown up. And then the kid in the hardware store hanging out with the, with the guys is mm-hmm. Tommy Doyle, but they ditched that plot line for some reason. And that's very annoying to me. I still consider them because their names in the movie are Lindsay and Tommy. Um, and it just, it would have made so much sense if in part five, they would have brought Lindsay back and had her be an actual character and instead of Tina I, I don't know why they didn't bring that girl back because she's the friend so it just doesn't make any sense to me it never has it's an abandoned plot line that should have definitely happened because those are the characters there's your there's your motherfucking slash a minute <laughs> you know what Brad I was I thought you were gonna say the same thing I was gonna say in this like there's Jason's fan film <laughs> Oh, I have my Halloween fan film written, but Keen Gross was supposed to direct it 600 times and he hasn't done it, you little fucking you tr- asshole. You trust Keen to direct it? Hell yeah, why not? <laughs> Friend film, and he's awesome. He's just a little fuck face. <laughs> yeah. So tonight we are going to be talking about Dr. Butcher MD, a.k.a. Zombie Holocaust. I have the Shriek Show DVD, and on the cover it's Dr. Butcher MD, and inside the DVD says Zombie Holocaust. When I first opened it up, I thought for sure I had received the wrong movie inside (laughs) because (laughs) there is no mention of the, the name Zombie Holocaust on the DVD itself. And it should be noted that MD stands for medical Medical deviant. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's just say this. The zombie, it's zombie holocaust, right? Mm -hmm. That fits the movie much more than Dr. Butcher. Dr. Butcher sounds like a a slasher. You look at the cover. I even, like, looked at the VHS cover. That's what's going to be on our um, our thumbnail and stuff. And um, I'm like, yeah, that's the movie I rented. But I didn't remember that it didn't even look like it was an Italian cannibal zombie native red blood kind of thing on the cover. Dr. Butcher MD I don't know why call this motherfucker. I gotta call this motherfucker a butcher. He's just trying to fucking uh, give people longevity. Yeah, he's Once more again, like, yeah, he's hero more of the, the movie. Villainized. 
Well, I mean, yeah. besides the fact that he killed a whole ton of people and <laughs> turned them into I mean, zombies but, and, you know, yeah, outside of that. They're just, brown. Like, they're brown cow. people. You can only charge them for like three quarters of them. <laughs> and yeah, well, we have a whole thing to say about all the different kinds of brown people in this movie, I guess. That's right. We Becca have doesn't. a lot. No, I do. But okay, so if you don't know what the fuck we're talking about, the plot of this movie, like many other movies like this, the members of an expedition in search for the last faithful of keto, which I kept thinking of the diet every time they said it, yeah. the cannibal god, land on a small island in the mole, <laughs> Malacus, and are soon hunted by cannibals and zombies. Come on, those Italians, man, usually they go cannibals or zombies. This one's going all the way. Hello, Becca. These are being created by Mr. Dr. O'Brien, who is experimenting with corpses. Susan, a sexy lady in the expedition team, eventually takes hold of things as she's accepted as queen of the cannibals and direct them from the mad scientist and his army of zombies. (laughs) Don't try to interrupt uh, Becca's synopsis. I'm sorry. I'm still reading (laughs) synopsis. Okay, go ahead, Brad. I was very into it. Oh, because it was about... The word keto, and it mattered at the time, and it doesn't matter now. So fuck you. <laughs> I was reading. We can talk about it again. Yeah, and the well, yeah, I think is... yeah, cannibals, the keto diet. That's probably how it got invented. Well, no, it's just K. It's K I T O. I thought about looking that up, but now I just have read it. But doesn't matter. Okay. Says the guy who wrote the fucking anonymous synopsis <laughs> on. IMDB who can't spell his own fucking name. It's probably K E T O <laughs> for all we know. Who knows? Anything. I anyway, don't trust. This is one we've, of those be- we've beautiful seen some Italian. Movies. Oh, we've seen some good. Well, we've seen some things where. What was the movie where it was like I read the synopsis on here and then we were all like, oh, good thing we none of us read the synopsis because oh, it came it all the way. Gave everything away. And then there's just synopsises on there that are like five words long and give you mm-hmm. nothing at all. You're like, this is Potts gets it. fucked good. Yes. <laughs> That's Brad's movie. <laughs> Brad wants that in four times in the end. <laughs> all that furniture to get in. Fuck, dude. I'm totally. Oh, man. Again. Some armoire love. <laughs> Currently in love with a lamp. I was about that. I love lamp. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that, that is a porn. That has to be a porn. I love Lamp. Somebody look I, it up. I love anyway. Lamp. Starring Brick Tamlin. All right. Um, so this has... I like the music in the opening of this movie. So I don't... This is those kinds of movies where you can't be like, oh, this movie was great. This movie's not great. But this movie's great fun to watch. I, for me, anyway. And this um, was... This was a movie that, again, like, once I saw the cover, I was like, oh, yeah, I ran into this a million times. And then I watched it, and there were, like, a few little things where I'm like, oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I don't think um, we've mentioned. Is, I don't think we've mentioned that this is a Patreon request from Jeff we Floyd. Have, well, <laughs> Jeff we did Floyd, but... the first time, but it, our recording fucked up. Yes. So Jeff Floyd, <laughs> our new patron, has requested this very, uh, very generously. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Jeff. Sorry, we're such fuck ups. But you've got at least, I mean, everybody else has about five minutes of audio. You've got 30 minutes of video. So. Oh, God. I, <laughs> I envy you. <laughs> Good luck with that. So uh, this was actually from 19. It's one of those movies is from 1980. Or 81 or 82. Just kind of depends on where you look. Or 96 or 2004. Or, or yeah, yes. And as Jason already said, it was originally called Zombie Holocaust, which is a much more fitting title. Um, and even when they, they start the credits, and this is as soon as I saw the credits, so they have the graveyard, and it's like the very cheesy, almost Ed Wood graveyard, like, like, like the fucking smoke machines. And then you see the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the gravestone for Snuff Maximus. <laughs> and they all start coming out of the ground. Very, just very Italian zombie movie. But then, like, all of a sudden, it's just, like, this title card. This, the poster, of Dr. Butcher. Like, <laughs> it just, like, flashes on the on the screen. Like, somebody just, you like, know, cut, cut, 
Let's just put this in here. <laughs> I don't know if that's on my version. I don't want to get into zombies. I don't want to get into zombies that much credit. Like they don't create a holocaust. They barely do anything but grunt. Like natives killed so many more people. Oh no 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 no. And and as I said, to, I said to Jason, there's a formula for all these movies. And this is me saying this from a very loving spot. But it's like you have to pick the word zombie or cannibal. And then you have to draw an, out of the hat a secondary word, which would be like um, Holocaust, Apocalypse, you know, Nightmare, blah, blah, blah. And then if it already exists, you just put a two in the end, even if it isn't a sequel. Yeah, that's Italian. Mm -hmm. I, that's I'm Italian. curious. <laughs> I'm curious on if you can consider something a zombie movie if... They don't turn each other when they bite. And I'm actually looking at another DVD on my shelf that I have right here. Now... Oh, shit. I have, a, I have another copy of Zombie Holocaust in this pack that's actually just Zombie Holocaust from Shriek Show. And this is the new uncut anamorphic widescreen. I wonder if this is different than the one I have. Hmm. Oh, uh, I didn't realize. I didn't realize this was the the yeah the doctor's on. Oh wow! I don't know, but I, I read somewhere the one that's on Amazon. At least oh, that's the one I watched. The one on Amazon is the uncut version. I forgot because I have that in the zombie two pack that I have. Fucking a! <laughs> oh wow! I would have watched this version because the other one isn't. It's okay, well, what but whatever. Anyway. A zombie. Because yeah, and that's they, I don't they know. They are dead. They die. But they don't turn you if and they. And they come back to life. So. It's a, yeah, it's a mm -hmm. very like irregular transformation. Like you put somebody's live brain in a corpse, like that's and like what makes typical. what makes them like after they become whatever they are. Yeah. Why do their faces look like they've just been like eating mud? Like they I don't look, understand. No, you know what they look like. They look like the I, Brad probably doesn't even know what this is, but <laughs> they look like the creature at the end of the House by the Cemetery. Lucille Fulci is the House yeah. by the Cemetery. Yes. Look and up the fucking creature at the end. It looks ex it, it's like this wax face where it's like yeah. has almost no features to it, and the eyes are like mm -hmm. there's like no eyes to it really, and sure. it's like a nose that's kind of been like pushed into the wax. It's really weird makeup for these zombies. I'm just like, or if you look at the cover for? of Zombie, okay, and that I mean that's the iconic thing. If you don't remember anything about that movie, you remember the cover. I mean, it's just like this mangled, nasty face or whatever. And this is actually, it's not. I, I was trying to really like dig into this. It's kind of maybe sort of a cash grab of Zombie, which was out in 1979. Ian yeah. McCulloch is in both. His name is Peter right. in both of these movies. <laughs> they actually used the sets from Zombie for this. Yeah. Um, definitely the that. house and stuff where the doctor right. lived. Oh, shit. Um, yeah. So it wasn't really like, it didn't really have any association, but it was maybe like a a piggyback. Let's put it sure. that way. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if they filmed them around the same time just to kind of get in on the fact that they'd rented this place or whatever and just right like, like some, you know film. somebody who's like secondary and like kind of like the spanish dracula where they filmed everything at night after dracula would would yeah. crap they would fucking rush in there right. all the mexicans would rush in there and film their version of dracula on all the sets Gotta get back such that a shit. great story um yeah zombies are something that i could talk all fucking day about because i have so many I have so many thoughts when it comes to the zombie subgenre, especially with like typical zombies as we know them. I just a the typical zombie that we see in those films. There's no way they could fucking create the holic. They could create an apocalypse. Not a chance well, of fucking hell. First of all, they are um, on one small island, and the yeah, only reason this, anything happens sure. is because stupid people go there and that's the way it is in all of these italian but this ones. is a it's... zombie holocaust so i know yeah so it's but a little it doesn't, different but it doesn't matter either way because they're always in this very very secluded area like an island or somewhere in the amazon and the people who live there want nothing to do <laughs> with anybody that fucks around with them they have no fucking 
like desire to start an apocalypse or a holocaust. They just want to keep to themselves and do their own little thing. But it's the dumb, well, it's always the hot Italian chick and oh, the yeah. British guy who's about 10 years past his prime who yeah. have to butt in and <laughs> they actually start shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very apt description of Italian cinema right there. Holocaust, noun, destruction or slaughter on a mass scale. No, no there's not even enough people to yeah. say that, yeah. But it's okay. Th these were just big, these were words that almost, I think, at this point in time, people were using to try to get on the video nasty okay. list. To be this fair, never did make it, actually. To be fair, if you go per capita... So if you were to if you were to nuke a city and in the United States, it'd probably kill a couple million people. And we have like what, three hundred and forty, three hundred and fifty million, three hundred and twenty, something like that million. So that would only be, you know, like one percent of our population of the country. But I don't, I don't so think anybody would consider that that, that island probably only has 100 people on it so if you kill like 20 of them man, that's like 20 percent of the population of the island so that's a holocaust to them yeah yeah <laughs> so as i said per capita style you go 20 percent of the entire known <laughs> population that's that's a fucking holocaust relative holocaust <laughs> yes <laughs> the zombie go. relative holocaust yeah that works All right. But no, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, just for, for argument's sake, since this is zombies and we haven't really got to talk about them much, I just want to go on record right now and say, A, zombies could never spread the apocalypse in the way that they're, that they're depicted in film. There's no fucking way. They move so motherfucking slow. How could they, how could, where, like, how could it start in, like, Alabama or wherever and spread to the world? They would have that shit contained by nightfall. Well, and that's 100%. the thing, too. It's going to start in the South. And there are going to be people in the <laughs> South who are going to just be like, motherfucker. They're not even going to tell the difference. They're going to be like, it's that not like the, the Shaun of the guy. Dead thing, where it's like everybody <laughs> looks the same one day to the next when they've all become zombies. There's just, yeah, if it, there's if just the South, no way. You're just going to have all these like fucking militia people and these fucking crocodiles and shit. Do they have No, they have gators, right? Here's yeah. something here's something you'll never ever see on film because of how ridiculous it is. In every zombie movie I've ever watched in my life, they're always attacking they they, they always show the aftermath of the zombies oh. taking out a military like facility. Right. There's no fucking way slow zombies could take out a military facility with tanks and fucking bombers and fucking unlimited right. when ammo. Their only weapon is like their teeth. Yes, well, you come and you it, see they have like tanks abandoned in the street, and it's like, why are these abandoned? Why did anybody get out? And just yes. stay in the fucking tank. Makes it no it sense over. at all ever, and they never show how it happens because there's no way they could. They couldn't come up with a way to even show it. They'd be like, um, um, oh, here comes the zombies. You guys can go get your guns ready. They'll be here in six days. The only way they kind of do it is they show people's stubbornness to leave, and then they show the military trying to, like, wrangle said people, and, but it doesn't, but you would still think there'd be bunkers of, like, fucking, like, snipers and shit who are, like, totally, like, we're just keeping you in this little bunker until yeah. we really need you, and then we're gonna unleash you on these fucking things. See, I like zombie movies yeah, right. where Get it's... I like Airplane. zombie movies where it's contained. I like zombie movies where they contain it to a small city. And then, you know, I, they set up fucking, you know, um, block, their roadblocks and stuff right, all over the, the city. And then, then they bomb the, the fucking city. Yes, like that like, makes sense. Um, yeah, like your Resident Evil 2 kind of thing. It's like where the people can't get out. And then exactly. it's like, okay, we have to fight our way through this, yes. But I prefer fast-moving zombies because that shit's scary as fuck to me. If they could run, then yes, 100%. They could spread that shit so fast. I just... Here's the thing that I don't understand about zombies either. Like, if they're looking for flesh to eat, then why do they only eat, like, one bite out of somebody instead of sit there and completely devour all of the person? Not in this movie! Yes. 
Actually, it's the movie, cannibals, though, that do it. It's not even the zombies. But they're cannibals, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Cannibals yeah, make sense because they're just doing it for substance. Right. Well, or weird religious things or whatever the hell they're doing. But, um, but yeah, it's, it's funny because the zombies don't... The, the quote-unquote zombies that we don't even know if they're zombies. There are more cannibals than zombies than this. Um, they don't really attack the people at all. They're actually kind of nice to the people who save them. <laughs> at the end. Right, but even before, they don't... I mean, they kind of like... Act that like guy gets thugs. caught in a trap and they fucking eat him while he's still alive in the trap. <laughs> They're not oh, nice. Which is my favorite. And Brad has like dropped off the call. I'm trying to I call him know. back. Yeah, I don't know if he's But I'm like, this I'm is my favorite scene, and I know I know he liked this scene. So Yeah, we'll pass but, that. Uh, we, well, well, we still have a lot to go before that. So we go to the morgue first. And Doctor, I guess we assume is supposed to be the Doctor Butcher whatever, is cutting the hand off of the corpse. And I really actually appreciated that it took a long time. Yeah, he had to saw through it. Yeah, I mean, it was like, it, it wasn't just a... Da, 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 da. Yeah, there's some good things in here. I mean, I like the the they're having the anatomy dissection, and the uh, teacher actually acknowledges that it's offensive and out of place for these fucking kids to be laughing and joking around during. Right. I mean, these are medical students. But what's funny is, okay, so they're medical students. They're supposed to be taking this seriously. But then later, the anthropologist chick, uh, Lori, is talking to the. I don't know, some professor or whatever, and she's telling him about this, like, oh, somebody, you know, they cut off, like, there was this hand missing. And he's like, oh, it's like pranks that those, like, medical students oh, do. Yeah. You should have seen what we did. Like, but you, but, like, these are the same kids who got chastised for, like, giggling <laughs> at a corpse. Hey, man, that's during class. After class, uh, it's free reign. You can class, fuck you the bodies, you can, you know, whatever you want with yeah. them. You gotta have respect during class. It's for him. It's not for the bodies. Come on. He's like, yeah, hey he man, is. I'm 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 giving you my expertise here, and you're laughing. You fuck. He's like, I don't give a shit about this body. We'll come on it later. Uh. But so what? I so the very first thing that's like you just have to love, aside from the bad dubbing. I did not mention that the bad dubbing. That's I love that. I love I bad know. dubbing. I love it. It's yeah. adorable. But um, the male doctor tells the anthropologist chick, whatever she is, the, sm the smart one, the yeah. smart, sexy girl. Um, the, the bra and like, panties doctor. Right. So she, <laughs> she basically says, hey, maybe we should call the police. He's like, oh, no, no. A police investigation would give us a bad name at the hospital. <laughs> yeah, cutting okay. people's limbs off and playing fucking pranks with them. That's all hunky-dory, but... Five, I, like of these uh, these corpses to be like mangled before finally he's like, hmm, we may have a medical deviant in this hospital, but we're maybe. still not going to call the cops. Yeah, I'm just, know. I'm just going to acknowledge it. Yeah. And then uh, I'm trying to wait for Brad to come back to talk about this attendant because that's like my favorite part oh, of this fucking movie. Man. I do want to yeah. say I think we I mentioned this already, but. The opening music of this movie I thought was really subtle and creepy and cool. Like, I One huge selling point of Italian cinema outside of the aging male actor and the hot young babe is the music. Musical scores in Italian cinema are always top notch. It's, it's kind of like my go-to um, soundtracks if I'm going to talk about music and horror. You've either got like 80s slasher synth stuff and 70s Italian or 80s Italian. That's like primo horror sound. If you want to make your movie sound cool, emulate one or the other or try to mix both together and you're going to Right, because chill. there was this, this weird, like... It's uh, so odd. It's so, like, uh, the beginning of this is not. It's very atmospheric, but, like, the typical music in this movie and others like it, it's like this... Disco yeah. psycho thing, like 
don't know. Like, it's very like appropriate for the yeah, time. For the you have time. to take that exactly. into consideration. It's very trendy, just like the fucking chest and facial hair on every guy in these movies. Yeah. But like, it, it's somehow though it, it invokes some creepiness. I don't know if it's because it was supposed to be or because that's just what we associate it with. But yeah, there's a lot of like action in disco. <laughs> Yeah, and it's it's always so it's always so weird and misplaced at times that it actually kind of gives the film an an unease to it. But I don't even know if it was on purpose or if it's just kind oh, of oh, I highly doubt it. it. It's probably just like recycled music because a lot of it is the same kind of thing you would see in like a thriller of the time, like an Italian thriller, like. Well, I just mean this it, one, doesn't, it like doesn't match the scene, so it almost makes accidentally it a little, makes it a little more off kiltered and uh, odd feeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I kind of love that about the music in these movies. So I'm gonna skip the attendant till Brad gets back. All right, I'm waiting for that. Uh, okay, oh, and so the tattoo we... thing. Damn. Yeah, I don't have to. Okay, so who okay, did you notice that uh, the the guy's wearing a total full blown Doctor Loomis trench coat in this? No, uh, no. Oh man, it is like identical. That was and this came a, out a couple years after Halloween. Yeah, so. but that was kind of a that was kind was of a, a thing. yeah. I'm not saying it was you know, take, your London with. fog just, jacket kind of. Yeah, thing. it's a normal jacket. Yeah. I just noticed it. and I was Very like, man, that is yeah. super Loomis. But um, no, no, no. So here is where I, I sent you guys a picture because I was like, oh, hell yes. Totally like 17-year-old me like had this flash in my head when Lori goes to undress at her apartment because she never has sex because she's smart, but right. we have to see her boots and her, her butt. Her apartment, it's like lime green shag carpet and like the wallpaper the chair, the lamp, and the pillows, and the bedspread, they don't just, like, match. They are the exact same print. <laughs> like, they all just blend together. Like, it's, like, white with, like, purple flowers and green leaves. And it's, like, you, it's, like, ooh, can you spot the chair in this picture? <laughs> right. It's, like, a camouflage room. It is. Oh my God! It's they had a sale so on this color, and we're going with it for. No, 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 no! But that's something we. Oh, that's something we used to do back in the day, though. Everything was like had to match. Like you right. could get like you know your pillows and everything else. But I mean, she just went to the nth degree with like this. She must have been blowing somebody at that style house, you know? Like yeah. I'll take everything, <laughs> everything oh, in the purple flower <laughs> print. <laughs> Um, the, I, I do, <laughs> I love when she comes home, finds her house ransacked, all stuff that is linked to the murders is stolen. That symbol that was on her wall. And she's <laughs> yeah, like, the, the ceremonial dagger. Yeah. She's like, should I call the cops? And he's like, what good would it do? <laughs> so I know. Fun. Yeah. What like, good would it do? Very... That's the point of the cops. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, though. We don't live there. I mean, maybe law enforcement there is really just useless. I, who knows? In these but movies, yes, they are. They are. Cue the <laughs> yeah. sirens. We don't, even, we don't even get the opportunity to cue no, the sirens no, here because no. there's no fucking cops in the whole movie because these guys yeah. are just like, nah. Because they're so useless <laughs> that nobody ever calls them or no. they don't want to be on the front page of the paper or something. But mm. whatever. But yeah, she opens her fridge, and then there's, I guess, like, it, it just looked like a roast to me or something. I, I'm kind of stupid, but, like, then it was like, da -da -da! like, I'm assuming it was supposed to be one of the body parts, or were you supposed to think it was a body oh, part? Oh, yeah, I, I that's like a, that. that's the heart that was removed from the body. Yeah, because it just, mm -hmm. it, it just looked like a roast or something to me, but I don't. Yeah, she didn't I, acknowledge I it at all. I don't so know my body really parts. Sure. She doesn't, she kind of looks at it and then he just closes it like it's no big deal. So right. she Green thought it was, that was supposed to be. It's part of her keto diet. That's, That's right, her keto diet. She got that from Keto <laughs> Island. So. <laughs> God. 
There you go. But, okay, so I this is another <laughs> aspect of these movies I love. So in comedy, I mean, she grew up on that island, so it makes sense. She did. She did. So that's that's the cuisine she's used to as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So these are another. This is another thing I love about these movies. You have to have like like tough like bitchy like uh I don't even know like how you what you'd even say, but like these chicks who are just like wow, catty. So in comes Susie, the journalist, who just shows up at her fucking apartment <laughs> for no apparent reason. It's like, hey, I'm Susie. I'm from the paper. And I heard I'm going to get the scoop from you. <laughs> and they just go into this like weird like Yeah, because that's not going to. They don't want any attention on them from the cops because that'll make them look bad. But right, let's tell journalists Susie, that's going to put it in the fucking Susie front page of the neighbor. <laughs> right, right. And you're going to be a bitch to her so she can publish that you're a bitch too. Okay. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I, I know that these movies don't make sense, but I'm, I'm kind of, conf- I'm of course, I'm really confused, but so they decide because somebody's stealing something from their hospital that they're going to fly to an island to investigate primitive people because that has some correlation to what's happening right. in their hospital. Like, why don't they right. fucking focus on their hospital Instead of flying out to a fucking island with four people, like, right. I don't four understand what connection curated. there is there, except for this fucking right. sign, this symbol, and then that doctor. It's like, yeah, but and here's you the need thing. to go out there. Okay, so Lori, we, it's very it's very clear. She, is, I mean, she's like a doctor, but not a, I'm assuming she's not a medical doctor. She's like a doctor, like of yeah, anthropology. She's a, of she's a researcher. Exactly. So what the fuck is she doing in there when the medical students are supposed to be cutting open this cadaver dressed like a fucking doctor? It makes no fucking sense whatsoever. Like she's just she just maybe there was the a, she... maybe one of the bodies swallowed like some old antique and she was <laughs> there to excavate it out of them. <laughs> I don't fucking yeah, know. Anyway, I mean, and that's the thing. It's like when he go when they go to the island. It's like, well, here's my team. You know, he's the medical doctor and the anthropologist and the medical assistant and the journalist. Like, okay, Motley Crue there, kids. <laughs> like, yeah. is there any rhyme or reason to your team? <clears throat> it's like the fucking. It's like the characters you get in a video game. They just give you random fucking professions to pick from, so they all have their own special traits. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But um. um so the so we see this little sign, the keto sign, which if the keto diet, uh, if they really wanted to like capitalize on this, they could. It's almost <laughs> like it's you know like a little. I don't like think the keto diet bit. was a thing back then. Well, no, but they could use it now. Not they could use it now. Know, yes, for, uh, as featured what, in Zombie Holocaust. Nineteen eighty to eighty two. The Academy also Award known winning as Doctor Butcher. Yeah, the Italian Academy Award winning. Fucking snuff film. Yeah. So basically, then they do these. Uh, uh, so they do these uh, slideshows where it's like, okay, here's some other cases that are sort of similar, and then there's like one where it's like a guy who looks just like the other guy who died, who has the same bright red thing on his <laughs> chest and a bullet in his oh, head. Oh, I know. I was, just, I was like, trying to wait for you, Brad on this because can you he thought zoom this was in so on the picture. If I don't know, do, how big of a fan are you of Mystery Science Theater three thousand? Jason, really? Because this, like, what I'm saying is, do you know the Mystery Science Theater three thousand movie very well? Uh, the movie, no, not so much. I can say that, yeah. Okay, so in the Mystery Science Theater three thousand movie, they watch a movie called This Island Earth, and in there I've they're dealing. That, with, okay, so I, they're dealing I with these. Exeter and Brack, and they're these aliens that are from this plant, doesn't matter, but they have like these extended long foreheads. They're like a foot tall in this indentation that's like right in and on it. And then there's this moment in the movie when when the when the woman, uh Ruth, she's showing them the drawings that she's done of them. And she's like, you see their foreheads and how there's an indentation and this and that, like she's pointing out that in case you didn't notice, these guys were different. It's like their Mm -hmm. fucking foreheads are 10 feet tall. I'm pretty sure we realize they're not fucking (laughs) human. 
Yeah. It was just it fucking reminded like me. Like the so fucking cone heads. Really. From no one noticed the enormous tattoo that they clearly all have. You're oh fucking nigga. And she points it out, and the people who are looking at her with her, she's like, oh, yeah, good catch. Good catch. Yes. <laughs> what the fuck? Are you serious? Oh, oh man, that God. that killed me. I laugh. What did I write down here for that? Um, did you notice the and tattoo wait. on the chest is the same? Duh. Thanks, Doc. Glad we brought you in. <laughs> and, I mean, I'm not really super familiar with, like, a 1980s. Um, slide projector technology. Yeah, I don't I think they can zoom in. Aware that you could zoom. Yeah, no, yeah. I'm. I and was thinking that. Did, too. I'm sure that the pixelation would probably well, even okay. Even if you could zoom in, could you zoom in to a specific area? Like zoom into the right quadrant. You know even what I mean? If like you could zoom in. It was like a guy's like tan chest. And like fucking oh, yeah, it cherry would, yeah. red fucking mark. <laughs> like oh no, the that was, was beautiful. Those were two different pictures, one closer up and one back, and they just had it in the projector. There's no fucking way. Because when they do it, they don't even zoom. They fucking switch to the next yeah, slide. They just, yeah, you hear the little clicky thing. Yes. So no, hundred percent no fucking way that even if they had a zoom on a slide like that that's not how it would have been used. Right. <laughs> so, no. But yeah, I, I did. I laughed some out limbs loud. Turning. Yeah. I laughed out loud at that part when she was like, right. did you notice? And I'm like, no. No, they're not doing it. But you know what it is, is that they, that's pointing out the idiocy of what they, or at least what they think the idiocy of their audience is. You know, like, okay, they really have to know. Yeah, good thing they brought in the fucking, you know, the anthropologist to point out that tattoo on the chest. <laughs> right. She Not needed like the fucking re- for The that. retarded orderly could have pointed out. Fucking my kids could have pointed that out. That's like that's like a learning lesson I have for my, my kids in kindergarten. Like, what in these pictures are the same? And they'd be like, oh, that tattoo is all the same. Like yes. they'd find it, and they're six fucking years old. But no, these two detectives here couldn't have, couldn't make that connection. Unreal. Um, I will give Lori credit there because she has one hell of a body. Um, she does. So we were talking about this. So, like I said, she they want to show her changing clothes often because they can't have her having sex because she's supposed to be the smart girl and the smart girl can't yeah, have smart sex. Smart girls don't have sex, no. Smart girls don't have sex, but they have a rock and bod. You need to show it off. But I said, I would have to do a hell of a lot of like working out and fad diets to look like that. And this is oh like my God, 80s. her body's early fucking, 80s. Yeah. 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 This she's is been like, doing a yeah, lot of she's a nat- She's these. natural. Like, that was back in the time when people didn't like sculpt themselves to look a certain way. She was definitely watching Alex, uh, fucking, um, oh, Jesus. That's funny. I just fucking Axel. It said Alex, and I don't oh, want to slap hey, myself. Yeah, uh, yeah, I can't remember Axel's what it's called. Fucking yeah. workout uh, videos. I can't remember what it's called, but I actually saw that. Yeah, you, somebody on sent C- it to me. Yeah, on CED. Like, <laughs> and I almost got it just for nostalgia's sake. <laughs> so great. Um, well, I don't know if Brad's coming back, so I guess we're just going to have to talk about these things. So if Brad's not coming back, I'll bring it back up if Brad comes back just so he can laugh with us. But I have to bring up my favorite scene in the entire fucking movie. And so what that is, is they catch one of the attendants in the hospital eating a heart out of a dead body. And when they do, they grab him, they take him into citizen's arrest custody. I don't know. And they're pulling him away, and he decides he's not going to go easily, so he's going to oh, jump out this landed. fucking window. Fucking smashes through the window, and it's clearly a dummy that they watch fall out of the window, and the dummy hits the ground, and the arm on the dummy shoots off the body like 10 feet. And then they cut right back to the guy laying on the ground with both of his arms covered in blood. I laughed so fucking hard that they left that arm flying off the dummy in the movie. Not to mention, this was only like the second story that he jumped out of. I don't think his body would explode. <laughs> <laughs> they should have just had the actor fucking tuck his arm in to his yeah. sleeve like his arm was ripped off from from the yeah. you know, impact. That would have been and great. Then this, 
this is where it starts in my very, I wish Brad was here. Brad, come on. I know, seriously. Uh, this is where it starts in one of my other favorite uh, Italian tropes. And that is like that guy, they, he's dark skinned. Like he's susceptible <laughs> to the voodoo or whatever it is. Yeah. But it's like, he looks, he looks like he's maybe like native American you know, and then, yeah. you, but then later we get natives that are like, Puerto oh, that guy looks, something. that guy looks like Japanese. That guy looks like <laughs> maybe just a, an Italian with darker skin. Like, it's just like they have like a little ad in Italian variety that says, darkies, come and be our natives. <laughs> they just randomly assemble them. <laughs> Looking for people with dark skin to play primitives on island. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because we're progressive, we're not going to paint you. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to fucking paint you up like Burgess Meredith being painted up to look like a, a freaking um, a Native American yeah. in that Elvis movie. That shit's hilarious. If you ever oh. get the chance, look that up. Yeah. It's so funny. Um, um, so they go to the island. And for whatever to, reason. Yeah, for whatever reason. They go to the island. We cannot explain why. So no. So we've got our quartet of... of uh, Misfits. Of, well, they go to the even. island of misfit doctors and journalists. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so our main character here, Elora, she finds a rotting head in her bed. With maggots. Dead. That's what I said. Um, yeah, maggots are crawling out of this thing. She probably thought it was part of her keto diet that was in the fridge. Mm -hmm. And uh, I love this sequence because she finds a severed human head under her covers in her bed. As she's and changing she, her clothes again, by the way. Yeah, of course. And then she <laughs> freaks out for like one second, and the guy comes in and says some bullshit to her, and it hard cuts to them getting onto a boat and her in the best mood ever. She is well, like whimsical. She is the laughing. And that like, he says is, oh, that's nothing. If the natives wanted to kill you, they already would have. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but they and killed somebody else and stuck their head in your fucking bed. But yeah, worry, there is a worry. human head fucking put in her bed with maggots crawling up. So this thing is fresh. This thing is new. This thing was just cut off someone's fucking body within the last few days of them being dead. And here we got this fucking yeah, something like this is not like something they dug up that's like a you know like freaking ten years old. Yeah, or, like, it's some like a skull. skull. Or something. It's a yeah, yeah it is. Yeah. Flesh and it's, everything. Yeah, it, it's it's like as it's almost as recent as Charlie's head in Hereditary. Yeah, yeah. So maybe a little a little more decayed, but it is the it is the islands, so it's a little hotter, more humid. So that might be my favorite Perfect. severed head in all of film. Yeah, Charlie's. I think. Head. I think spoilers. Hey, whatever. If you haven't seen it, then you come on. Probably you never will. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Been but out yeah, a long that, time was, now. that was that was. The only time ever in a movie theater that when that happened, I had my hand over my mouth. Like, yeah, shocking. For good, shocking. like three minutes. Like, like I felt like the stupid horror movie character who does the retarded, like, stereotypical thing. <laughs> but I was like, <gasps> hand over mouth. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, what the fuck oh, is okay, going I on? Guess, I guess you really would do that if you were really fucking. Oh my god, yeah, if you saw that in the road, especially if it was your kid. Um, but I just, it's so fucking funny to me that it cuts to her in, like, the best mood. Like, I just found a severed head in my body, cut to fucking an hour later, and I'm on a boat just having a blast. Because I was brought here because I fucking saw a guy eating a human heart, and then when I get here... I find a human head fucking put in my bed. And Jason. before this, I fucking found a heart in my fridge and my place was ransacked with like a sacrificial dagger taken. You know <laughs> and what, this Jason? girl's like, whatever. She grew, she grew up there. I think these are good, warm memories for her. Like, oh, I remember when I was eight years old yeah. and I found that head in my bed. Yes. Christmas was really fucked up Back on their home. island. <laughs> <laughs> It was Where like Hanukkah we, there, did we ever, man. Did we ever Eight figure out where her parents are? We Brad's Brad back. Oh. Holy shit. There he is. We tried oh. to hold off on so many things for you. 
I'm back. I missed okay. everything you just said, though, because my yeah. uh, hadn't kicked in yet. We talked about the dummy's arm flying off. Oh, man. We talked about the that. tattoo on the chest that no one seemed to notice but our anthropologist, because that's what it takes to spot something that yeah. obvious. It takes, a, it takes a PhD to be able to spot a big, bright red symbol. It's a tattoo. It's a tattoo. It looks like it was made in fucking lipstick. Yes. yes. It looks like a kid finger painted it on the fucking body. Yes. Yeah. I trust you guys to have covered those intricate fucking plot moments. We yeah. did. We did. We, we even are, talked we about are, the heart are... in her fridge being part of the keto diet. You would have appreciated that joke. But yeah. we are now to we've we've gotten to the island. She's found the severed head in her bed. And now they're going to another island and they're in the boat and she's just all happy, happy, joy, joy. Here's something that I think Brad... Oh, Ren and Stimpy, huh? Okay. Yeah. Um, you guys have have you guys noticed that when I blur the background... It like I know. Yes, hair? you end up with like this weird, like very <laughs> shorn fro. <laughs> <laughs> How do I fix this shit again? Uh, it's unblur back or a background. It's in the option. Yeah, so, like if you click on... I know screen. something there. that Brad would definitely... I want to hear Brad's thoughts on is uh, our main lady here is naked body. We were talking about how wonderful it was. From the fucking chin down, this chick was hot as fuck. Oh, I think chin? Was... Or right shin? Here. Oh, chin. Yeah, from her I shin down. Chin. He's all like, about them feet. I mean, how about the feet, Rebecca? Have you ever seen that movie where the guy's like finger banging the chick nope, with her nope, toe? Nope, nope, nope. Yeah. Yeah, toe, toe banging, banging and yeah, in the diner. Yes, I've seen that one. I have seen that one. Yes. I'm surprised we haven't right. like sent she's you videos in the of face that too. on almost on, like a daily I mean, basis. She's, I know, she's right? got that really late seventies like makeup where it's like almost like they just take like red <laughs> oh. and just e make these like lines on their cheekbones. I, I, I guess mean, I should be recording, huh? Yeah, maybe. You know that you know that fucking uh you know that Rick Roll thing that people were doing uh, for a while when you clicked yeah. on something? It was that fucking never yeah, gonna give you up thing. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we should be we should be fucking doing that to Rebecca with that toe scene from <laughs> 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 We should send a really important shit and be like, Becca, like I need Every you to check this out for me, blah blah blah. And then have her pick it up and just this fucking toe and a pussy. Oh, it'd be so good. It'd be like, Why we got you again. You just ruined it. You just ruined it. Splice it in the trailers, dude. Be like, oh, there's new child's play footage. And then yeah, it's so fucking good. <laughs> check out this new news footage that we found for the show. We want you to. She wouldn't trust a goddamn thing we ever sent you her know again. How, like. You know how about like 10, 15 years ago, everybody would send you like, oh, look, there's a ghost in this car commercial. And it would be like just a regular car commercial. And all of a sudden yeah. somebody would be like, ah! on the screen. That right. would be it. You just have like, toe and pussy. Oh, yeah. It would be like that maze game where fucking Reagan pops up when you're playing it and scares the people. Except for it would be a toe in the pussy. <laughs> yes. But I'd be all serious, like one day trying to get a hold of her and she wouldn't fucking I talk to me. And it'd be like the boy God, who cried toe you? fucking. <laughs> That, that that could be a creep show segment. That'll be an episode of the new show. <laughs> the toe like fucking right there. Ah <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit! All right. Problems. So and so the big rotting head in her bed is no big deal, and then they go out. And uh, they decide that they can't get to the island there because the engine's overheating. So they're just going to stop. Have you guys <laughs> talked about Mo Mo Moloto? Have you talked no, about Moloto? You can go ahead. Well, go for I mean, it. Those are, they, they've set that out there pretty. Isn't that the name of like the group of islands? The island is the island or the group of islands is the Moloto Islands. And the guy that lives there is Moloto. And he was my favorite. He was going to be my big lovable retard of the day. Ugh. But, but no, he wasn't? No, no. <laughs> Hmm. I, yeah. I, I didn't want to go that far into the film, but like Meloto has a dark secret, and this movie should have been called Meloto's Revenge. He has yeah. a dark secret because he's the <laughs> darkest, isn't he? <laughs> he's definitely the darkest of the natives. He is. He is. Yeah. Anyway, he's the they blackest only, of the darkies. They only want to do one name for like a racial profiling of a black oh, man. Yes. It's only like half Every of them. Single... Well, every single one of the guides or whatever, yeah, they only have like a name, 
Like, I don't know if it's a first or last name. You don't really know. But it's like they only have a name. <laughs> Those ping pong guards were fucking dope, dude. Like, I love it when I love it when fucking like Vietnamese people talk. It makes me happy. <laughs> I wish I could get my toenails done just so I could hear more of it. Man, they they opened a, like a really good Vietnamese restaurant near me. And I'm like so addicted. But it's kind of expensive. Send Rebecca coupons for Vietnamese Ro- food. Roku Vietnamese faux bar. It's really good. Okay. So here's one of my favorite scenes in the entire fucking film. So one of the guys goes missing after these guys are like, yeah. we're, we're <laughs> so this guy goes missing and they find him and he's fucking mutilated. <laughs> and <laughs> the tour, the guys that are with him, the guys that are with him are like, they're scared. And he's like, they're scared. And it's like, yeah, motherfucker, they're scared. <laughs> but even better the than fuck that, wouldn't be? They, they're <laughs> camping, right? They've got a tent and a fire making, like, fucking s'mores or something in, like, fucking my front yard. It's, like, pure green grass. Yes. And then it's, like, it is like they hear the scream, and they're, like, oh, whatever his name is, you know. Yeah. And, then, and then they're, like, well, you know what? We can't look around now. We got to wait till light. And then when they do find him. It's like the one douchebag, the doctor, which uh, I can't even remember what his name was. Um, doesn't matter. I'll figure it out in a minute. Uh, yeah, it doesn't probably really matter. Me, it was probably Militi. No, 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 no. I mean the British guy. Mutuku. The, no, the British doctor. He, like, looked at him, and he just goes, well, that's what he gets for wandering off when we said not to. <laughs> like, yeah, that's a pretty harsh penalty for fucking not listening mutilated. to some guy who paid you three bot to fucking show him around an island. <laughs> All he had to do was go take the a fuck out of here. And he like, oh, okay, well, it's his fault, right? <laughs> so here's my, okay, so this is my favorite part of it. So after these guys are freaking out saying that they're scared, and obviously, then the journalist comes up and starts to take his picture and he's like, come on, don't you have any respect? And she's like, oh, I'm sorry. And then he tells the friends of the guy who was just mutilated, come on, hurry up, bury your friend really quick. We need to get out of here. <laughs> because, yeah. That was you amazing. Have, you have any respect? Um, how about we like document this for oh, when we go God. back to the mainland? Was, so there's some just there. How, exactly. Yeah, that's the whole point of her being there. But no. Like, you don't need to go. And she's like, but I'm here to document this trip. So, yes, he, I do need to go. She mocks these guys for fucking lamenting the fucking death of their <laughs> friend. And then tells the journalist chick that it's just Bam. totally fucking improper for her to take a picture. That he's just like, bury this motherfucker Bam. really Bam. quick. <laughs> he's like, hurry up. Bury this guy. We need to leave. We need to go. What the fuck that scene, I seriously, I had to pause it because I was laughing. I was just like, this is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> this is absolutely fucking, re- just bury this motherfucker real quick. Why are you guys scared? And then one of them's like, I'm out of here and runs off and gets just gets absolutely impaled. Which this is my favorite scene. <laughs> oh. So um, one, uh, like, let's say maybe he's like, a, uh, I don't know, maybe he's Vietnamese. Get a guy um guide gets impaled and then these other guys who are like maybe puerto rican and like <laughs> fuck it from laos and you know maybe a couple japanese guys or whatever come running up to eat him and they are just it they look like seriously like they came out of like a skit from kentucky fried movie they're running around going <laughs> 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 And they're they chatter, look so much they have just bad wigs. And they're, they're, I mean, once they once they start, like, you know, cutting him open and eating him, it's pretty awesome. But it before is. that, it's like Samuel it L. Bronkowitz presents. It reminds me of, like, Jawas or fucking Ewoks, like the way they chitter-chattered <laughs> as they went. Like, it's right out of Star Wars, dude. It was great. <laughs> oh and then after all this happens, the guys fucking run up the the cannibals that they know are there that have already mutilated one of their fucking people and he's like hold on maybe they just want to talk <laughs> <laughs> he just they just fucking mutilated and ate one of your friends but they want to talk yeah maybe they're full 
Maybe they're full. We've got them on a full <laughs> stomach. Me. They may want to chat right now. Does anybody speak their fucking language? Do they even have a language? <laughs> <laughs> you have to write it in human blood for them to understand. Like, I don't fucking understand. Maybe they want to talk. Maybe they want to talk. What, do they fucking know English? <laughs> Stupid. God damn it. Oh, I love it. So then, you know, yeah, they're in crisis mode. So they go back to the camp and like they tell the chicks like, you need to get some rest. And they're like, uh, fuck you. <laughs> I don't think yeah. so. Just One of the things I do like rest. about these movies is they don't make the chicks the damsels in distress. They're like, they make them actually have a brain. They have more of a brain than most of the guys in the movies. I'm not talking about just this one, but in general, like, are you serious? But then... They relent, and we have zombie peeping Tom for the second time. Yeah. Love zombie peeping. He's like this like fucking pervy looking. Wouldn't what do they have all over them? Like ash or something all over his head? It's a peeping Tommy. And he's even, and he's, yeah. <laughs> he's even like got his fingers on his eyes, like opening his eyes as he's looking at her through the window. <laughs> I will give the fucking movie. I, I'll give credit where credit's due. That guy who gets his eyes gouged out was gnarly. That's George, and you know that what? That was I amazing. Have, I actually have a very large um, capital, like it's all circle and everything. I I wanted to make sure I put that George rocks the chest hair and the gold chain. <laughs> yes. He had like the really tight gold chain around his neck, and then his like jacket was like down to his like it looked like he had a brown shirt on underneath his jacket but it was just his chest hair like, yeah he's wearing a fucking cardigan you, george and then your eyes get gouged out and that was pretty gnarly it was so good it, like if i make another like monster monday compilation video of kills that would definitely oh, be going in there yeah shit's yeah. fucking bad he got yeah. man he got so then I okay. guess their zombie leaders come out and just start growling and that makes them stop doing what they're doing. I I'm not really sure what's going on in this scene. They just come out with yeah. their fucking wax faces and they're like, Argh. and the zombies are, or the are like, incredible. oh, our leaders are here. Yeah. Let's leave. But they say the, no. The live humans are like, oh, they just stand there and they don't do any, it, they, the, wax facey guys yeah they don't do anything to the human like the real humans or whatever you want to call them like the <laughs> the white people <laughs> the, the real humans the real the humans the non-cannibals jesus oh my god that was <laughs> we're not <laughs> racist yeah, yeah that was horrid <laughs> i'm leaving the channel jesus christ fuck you jason yeah right. whatever but yeah, it's like they can't. Yeah, they were like the the muscle or something. Like they had the yeah. muscle over them. Yeah, like, I fucking expect. I mean, it's not as it's it's around almost along the same lines of how bad the fucking Ghost of Mars guys are when they come out. <laughs> That's got to be the worst language the ever in a film. <laughs> Ever, I will put it up. I'll put it up the Pepsi challenge in any fucking language ever spoken in a movie. But I don't know. This zombie is that supposed to be zombie language? <laughs> Did they understand that? Because they, they said they want to talk. Maybe that's them talking. There we go. I don't know. Who knows? Yeah. And now we have cannibals and zombies. Yep. Uh, we had zombies together in the same. What, so what, do the zombies the, not? The zombies. The cannibals. They have like a truce. Like, we both eat human flesh, so we're kind of the same. But know. the zombies don't try to eat the human. They, yeah, they no, they don't. The candles off they're too they brain dead to, to do anything. Human. I don't know what they're doing. They respect them somehow, though, because they're, they stop when they growl. Yes. So. They're, a lot well, closer to they're fucking, doing like, the doctor's zombies. bidding. I don't yeah, think. They're, they're a lot yeah. closer to voodoo type zombies. Well, then, right, and they're, they're doing the doctor's bidding, and the doctor, okay, it's Dr. Butcher actually says like he's gives his big exposition dump to one of them and then he's like well i would just kill you but i want your brain i need the brain of a caucasian or whatever so i think that's it like they've been told save them because he wants them because white brains are better i guess and even that's... blonde is even the best yeah Aryan, yeah with the Aryan shit so that's right. You gotta so paint her then, like a hippie, puts flowers all over her. 
stick her on the stone mound. <laughs> so then, like, after half the crew is murdered in front of them, they decide half of them are going to stay behind and half of them are going to leave because they wouldn't all leave in that I moment, know. I guess, for some reason. And so they go to try to get on this boat, and then we get this fucking amazing propeller fucking face. Yes. Oh, so oh, good. But the suspense, because there are two motors, and British guy with the bad toupee can't get the one started. And finally, the second one, he gets it started. And That's so bad. Uh, the guy who's in an open clearing, the zombie who's in an open clearing, from like a hundred feet away, they don't notice him walking towards them until he's about five feet from him. No, oh, yeah, no, of course. Yeah, of course not. Of course. Because you can't but there's like, people walk on sound. When he fucking puts that thing into his face, you can see like brain in there uh, and everything. Okay. Ah, now okay. we've come to my favorite scene. That zombie was so fucking retarded looking. And then he just macked his head with that fucking shit. And I loved it. That was so like, good. The purest so, amount of joy I had during this was that. It's such, I mean, the gore in this movie, when it's on, it's fucking on. You either get mannequin's arms flying off or you get this propeller <laughs> fucking to the head death. <laughs> fucking chopping up. Easy, amazing shit. Um, I don't know why these people in Dr. Butcher's waiting room are hanging upside down <laughs> on the wall. I'm not really sure why they're strung up like that. Uh, but. Um, Draining, I, I don't yeah, know. draining maybe. I, I don't know, but yeah, I, I saw that as his waiting room for the bodies. Yeah, I didn't go through 10 years of medical school to be called Mr. Butcher. <laughs> yeah, I deserve some respect. <laughs> oh my god, Brad. So I have to tell you this I use that line because in education, like you know, I'm, I'm around people who are a doctor, and oh, they, yeah. all of them will be like. No, 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 no. Call me. And this is my boss. Like, no, call me Kent. I'm just like, I'm like, have you ever seen Austin Powers? Because I tell you what, I'm going to call you doctor because of that one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't go to 10 years of do evil doctor medicine school. Yeah, it's fucking great. Mr. Evil. <laughs> um, so then she gets kidnapped. And for some reason, they they paint her with flowers. Well, she wait, 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 no, no, back up though, because you forget. Okay, we I we're talking forget. about. I thought we were talking. Sword about. Okay, go getting ahead. his eyes gouged out. But when that happened, they had taken Susan and they like used some they sort of cut like her vocal like, cords. No, they used some sort of like um like magician's like red like scarf that was like twenty feet long to like rope her. Did you guys notice this? It was like a big long silk scarf that was like red. And they used it like a lasso and got her. And then like the guys are just like, mm. oh no. And they don't even like try to help her. <laughs> like, no, she's a throwaway character. So blanket, okay. But yeah, they yeah. take her away. Yeah, they but yeah. So, they cut her vocal uh, cords, which is gnarly. Which is pretty, yeah. The yeah. stuff they do with her is gnarly, but I didn't understand this. So, um, Lori and Peter, so our two main smarty people, mm -hmm. um, they come upon Susan on the beach, right? She's got a camera and everything. They're like, Susan, Susan. And then they like go up to her and like she turns around and it's like, it's yeah, it's a, it's a zombie with a, fucking, with a... No, that's somebody else wearing her scalp. But, okay, so then when oh. they showed Dr. Butcher... But then when they show Dr. Butcher, though, oh. is that, like, is this all a flashback? No, that's her with oh. her hair missing from her yeah, hair. Yeah, that wasn't her sitting on the bench. That was a zombie wearing her, her scalp. I just, and I her just, clothes. I, yeah. I just realized oh, I this now. Her scalp was gone. That's right. Once once we see her yeah, laying on the her table, her scalp is missing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the um, zombie knows how to use a camera, or at least... He's trying to figure it out. It's probably his past life, because I'm guessing that he's, unsuccess he's successfully, unsuccessfully transferred brains, but that's the result, because it didn't quite take. So these guys... Have some bit of like human no, but they memory were all, like, left to them, and like it's right, like a camera like, is like but they I kind of so know what this primitive. is. Primitive, they wouldn't know what a camera was, so they just sit there on the beach all day. I guess. Well, we don't, I don't know where they get their brains from. Well, he did. He, he got them. He, he got them from the from natives, 
and then he decided to escalate it. And well, what are they the doing story. in the what are they doing in the hospital then? Are they not taking no body parts fucking to fucking idea. send back why? UPS why are, to Mutuku's Island or whatever? <laughs> what what's the point <laughs> of having a hand? Right? Of what's what? the point of having some a hand? A hand of a corpse. So he can jerk off with it while he fucking these, does. I don't know. Making these people eat hearts. It has nothing to do with him trying to harvest brains in like essentially like a short amount of time. <laughs> like all the stuff that happened in the hospital has absolutely nothing to do with what's going on on this island. They need to be able to show hard dicks in movies because it would be <laughs> hilarious to fucking see some dude chop somebody's hand off and then actually grope his dick with it and start jerking off with it. We just think we can't get enough like we don't get pornography shots in movies because it's like taboo, but it, um, man, movies could be way more fucked up if they could feature like hard dicks and pussy. I want to see skull fucking. I want it. That's what I want. I mean, you get to kind of see it not in through the eyeball, but in the mouth in Serbian film when he knocks all the girls' teeth oh, out. Oh, I'm thing. so happy to report that James found Serbian film for like. Ten dollars at book off and bought it, so I'm gonna finally get to see that shit. Oh, you've never seen it? Oh, I've been trying to for a long time. Oh, I've I seen think it it's like, like on. Times. It's maybe like not on Prime, but I think you can rent it. I mean, I was gonna move in with these guys, and I really didn't know them very well, and I came over to hang out with them just for like a visit. And what I ended, they were like, we were just talking about horror movies. Cause they're like, oh, you're into horror movies? I'm like, yeah. And they're like, have you ever heard this movie called Serbian Film? And I was like, I actually have it out in the car. I just so <laughs> happened to have it in the car. And so they're like, are you fucking serious? And I was like, yeah. And so I brought it in and we watched it together. And that was like our initiation, man. And you knew you were living with me when I fucking brought that in. That's how we. That's how we. Uh, yeah, that's how I got acquainted with my roommates. Was I showed them like the sickest fucking movie ever made. We're raping babies and shit, and we're sitting there like, and they're like, "Should we be watching this?" And I'm like, "I'm moving in with you, motherfuckers." And this is like in my uh, car. I carry this around with me to jerk off to. Fucking amazing. Now, if it, like I have this thing where if it's not for the show, I will not rent a fucking film. Like I will just buy yes, the film. Yeah, like, yeah. I know you're different. Okay, so can we talk about this scene? Because I don't understand. So they paint her with flowers for whatever reason. She's like a hippie. She's she's, with she's not resisting this at all. She's not fighting back. She's just sitting there like a professional model, letting them paint her. And it doesn't seem like they've drugged her. No, I didn't see any drugging or, or hypnotizing yes, of any sort. I actually rewound because I was yeah, like, wait. I was I so I confused that I looked for it and I couldn't find any fucking proof that they did anything to her. So she just decided... Oh, fuck it. I'm going to let them paint me, then go sit on a sacrificial chamber, which has my perfect imprint on it to my height yes. and body requirements. That they right. fit her body Almost perfectly. as if this was made for me. Yes. <laughs> he lays in it, and I'm like, oh, wow, that's amazing that it fits your body perfectly. Your weight, mm -hmm. your height, your the length of your arms and your legs. Your butt was, indentation. Yes, everything was perfectly fitting for her. And she just she does it for whatever paint. reason. That's really and then expensive. She, and then she becomes like the C-3PO Ewok god of them and can control what they do, I guess, because she comes in with them and has them take over. And she's like, they're fucking, I don't, what the she, fuck she happened supposed, there? Okay, yeah. So it, it's like, she's supposed to be their sacrifice, but, but then she ends her. up being like, not sacrifice. They show, they were like, I think they looked at her and were like, we're never going to get a chick on this island like this again. We better keep her alive. <laughs> <laughs> this is she looks really good with these like, flowers yeah. painted on her. Okay. Yeah. So give her a sheet and we're going to go do whatever the fuck she wants us to do. Dude, yeah. you, if this had like a 4K scan, you could probably see her cer like her cervix dilated. Like <laughs> they show her legs are wide open and you could see her fucking pussy like all right, but because of the quality of the DVD is not that great. I'm looking like and the bush probably covers the majority of it. But right. I'm telling you yeah, if we're it talking was talking right 79 yeah, 80 81 80, 80, yeah, 80, 80s no. bush. Yeah. You're going to see no vagina. Yeah, there ain't no waxing going on there. But you could see the glistening of where the fucking opening was. Oh, my God. Uh, okay, but I will say I watched this on, I rented it off of Prime. And, mm. like, from the very get-go, I was like, yep, there was no restoration done to this movie ever. No. 
There's no, I, this is arrow, arrow, hello. <laughs> Did Dr. Are, Butcher really not notice that this dude's bounds were clearly undone? Like when his neck bound is completely unfastened and his arms are not fastened in anymore. That guy did not notice it at all because it's so fucking obvious those things. It was just like James Bond over. moment, really. Oh, 100%. I mean, yeah. They like, always put, they always put the fuck, like his, all his hand movement is like three inches and they put the, they put the scalpel tray just oh, yeah, close okay, enough for his hand to be able to grab it. <laughs> Without and then he fucking sneak around. attacks my fucking boy Meloto and cuts his goddamn throat. Oh, poor him. He was just going to kill him five minutes ago and fucking go get out. And then it was like, hello, darkness, my old friend, as he was dying. I think that this is probably a prequel to the movie Get Out. <laughs> what do you guys think? I think Dr. Butcher. He made the first tethers. Yeah, I think so. I think he was the guy who fucking, you know, who who was out there. He's researching how to make how to put white really. men's brains into dark men's bodies. That's right, because that's this is fucking the prequel. The guys to get out. Wanted, yeah, because the guys wanted the yeah. I'm calling yeah. Jordan Peele and I'm telling him they need to send he no. needs to send them royalties. Right. Okay. Uh, what happens when him. white men want black if dicks? You, Talk to Jordan Peele. Tell him I need more skits with the parking valets talking about movies, please. If you talk to Jordan Peele, um, let him know that he needs to come on the podcast. I just read recently that Kevin Feige said that they actually recorded like a 10-minute skit of Luis from Ant-Man recounting everything leading up to Endgame. Really? Oh, and I was like, oh movie. my god, that has to be a special feature on oh, the fucking yeah. movie. Please, yeah. God, because yeah. that would be the greatest thing ever. Yeah, we've been asking for that since before Infinity War. Oh, that'd be so good. So they said it's recorded. It, it, they did shoot it, so I hope That's to amazing. see that. Yes, that is amazing. Um, so basically the last 10 to 15 minutes of this, I was watching this before Game of Thrones and I was like about three to four minutes like off like i'm like oh i gotta like shave some time off of this so the last 15 minutes it was pretty easy to shave off some time because it's like just plot contrivances so basically peter gets free yeah and he he kills mulatto boy <laughs> and and like all the zombie dudes come and attack dr butcher and like somehow like they they put they Catch everything on fire and everything's okay, and then like the end. I, yeah, I, yeah that's, that's how these movies yes. end. That's, that's always how yeah. these movies end. There's no fucking like long, you know, no uh, epilogue. Not to mention the fact no. that like they don't Hell have no. a working boat or anything. They don't know that they've gotten every. Oh yeah, they don't know that the camera was going to turn on them in five minutes. And if right. there was a cut of this movie that was twenty minutes longer, it would all be those fucking. Those Ichi Ichi guys are like, gang banging her. I want to see those cannibals eat her pussy. That's yeah. what I want. To say. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So if anybody can get us a high def version of this where we can see her pussy. Yeah, we can see. You know what? She seemed really progressive. I'm I was, I I said it before, I was really impressed by like the modernness of her body. So maybe she did. Maybe she was like a first waxer. If you can get the actress who played her to send us a current picture of her pussy, we will give you three months of free being a Patreon. Yeah. Do we even know she's... Okay, and this is... I'm gonna look it up. I'm rolling the dice. I'm tempting fate. We're gonna see if she's even still alive, because that's... You know, we really don't have it. We're well, gonna find out she, she died of a drug overdose. Like If two she's years after dead? Like, Shit! She's if she's dead, okay, then it's fucking six months. Okay, she was born in 1957. So I was born in 76. I'm 40. Mom's well, 43. So she's she was what, born. 60. She's like 62. I, I didn't hear that. Not either, she's so. dead. Okay. <gasps> okay. Oh my god, you guys. Uh oh. <laughs> Spit it out. <laughs> Alexandra de la Cole. She, she was the chick in the New York Review who got the toe pussied. Oh my 
<laughs> fucking serious. Fucking way. So we've seen her pussy. Oh my god. Okay, wait. That's amazing. I don't know if you guys can see this, but like one of the stills, like one of her like publicity photos. That's it. <laughs> it's her. And the of course, that's her iconic thing. Yeah, that's that's uh, what she fucking puts on her resume. Uh, so that's um, why I was so intrigued by her. <laughs> probably how she orders a fucking meal at a restaurant. Oh so weird. Hmm. Take a cheeseburger with a pussy toe fuck. <laughs> Oh my god. That's so fucking crazy. There's another there's another little full cheat thing too, but wow. wow. Like fucking I don't want it. I don't want to see her pussy now. Instead of being called a pie fucker, she just called a toe fucker. Toe fucker. We could probably still see one of the toenails lodged in there oh, if we got a fucking fuck. Blu-ray copy. Fuck you. No, the New York Ripper was after this. Can you get athletes fucking crotch? Oh, you, Can oh, you get like, sure. ath like athletes yeah. pussy? Yes, that's a yeast infection. <laughs> that's I how mean, you get yeah, yeast I mean, infection. Like yeah. a fungal yeah. thing, like you nasty. Ugh. Oh my god. Okay, let's stop. I think Beck is actually getting turned on and she doesn't want to admit it. Dude, I'm about ready one to day, one day she's going to let her toe fetish loose and then she's no. going to be the happiest girl in the world. She's going to come buckets. Yeah. Uh, all yeah. over a toenail, like that commercial yeah. where the creature lives under the toenail and causes fungus. She's, She's sitting there weird waiting for a shit toe. Has happened, I tell That's... you what. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta bring that gem Not back that. up. No. All right. Yeah. Let's get into ratings. All right. Let's do before I throw up. Because <laughs> fucking Italians only have like six people to cast from, so. Probably I not guess that so, crazy. But, oh my god! I think Probably she, everyone in this movie was in every Italian movie that we've talked about so far. Oh, by the way, something that I ways. didn't mention um, on this movie that it also was okay. So it was called Zombie at Holocaust, then Doctor Butcher MD, but it also in Italy at some point it was called Zombie Three, even though it wasn't Zombie Zombie One Zombie. <laughs> That's amazing. It go no, no, it goes with my formula, right? I've seen Zombie 3 bootlegs at horror cons. I wonder if it's that movie. Probably. That's amazing. There's a Zombie 4 you though. You gotta love well. a movie that has three titles. Is three. that it, Jason? It's a different movie, because this uh, is full cheese film. Because, yeah, Zombie goes all the way up to Zombie 6. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. and this is, this is Zombie with the I. Like, nice. Yeah, not Zombie. The zomb Zombie. Yeah. Which zombie right. is a fucking sequel to Dawn of the Dead? So and again, anyway. like I said, if your name is already taken, you just put a number at the end of it, whether or not it's a sequel to something. Yeah. All right. I'm actually gonna make a whole video on that. My friend Keen and I are working on that. We're gonna do a whole history of Italian sequels and how fucked up they all are. Sequels with air. I've been working on that. For I like Keen because he'll make child molestation jokes. Those aren't jokes. So <laughs> neither are Brad's. No. So let's just exactly. start. Let's let's just go down the list because I do things alphabetically. Like when I edit all this stuff, Brad, you are first. Oh yeah. What you say? Rate this motherfucker. Three and a half toes. Three. And a and a half. Pussy. Damn. Are you These serious? Are Three and a half brutal. out of ten. Brutal. That's fucking Doctor Brutal, oh, this man. It was fucking boring as fuck. Did you go to fucking doctor? Did you go to fucking brutal doctor medical school? <laughs> Jesus did Christ, you get dude. Cut off by Dr. Butcher. Oh my God, seriously, you didn't oh, have fun didn't with have this? Fun Come on. Fuck. Oh, you seem really like you're having a good time talking about it. That's fine. Because I love and miss you guys. Aww. <laughs> this movie sucked balls, but I like you guys. Okay, Jason. Okay. Because I call myself Rebecca when I name my files. You're See, not when we do these ratings, it's always ratings on the kind of film uh, that it, it is. is. It's an it is. Italian doesn't, yeah. fucking cinema film. So for yes. an Italian cinema film with the ridiculousness that's going on here, and especially the gore, the tits, the fucking nonsensical everything that makes this film so hilariously stupid in every way, it's, it's probably like a seven. I mean, this is... It's not like a fucking... It's not like super enjoyable where I'm going to go back and watch it a ton. But while I was watching it, I was having a lot of fun taking notes and breaking apart the logic. Like Brad missed us talking about zooming in on fucking the slideshows and stuff like that. It's like fucking impossible. 
You know, I was going to give this a seven until I found out who the chick was. It's a seven point five for me. I adore <laughs> these fucking. I, really I know because that because the girl gets towed in the pussy, she gives it a point, a point, a point five higher. And she says so she doesn't like, like it. Okay, you know how like you watch a movie and you're just like, oh, oh wait, I've seen that person before, and it kind of like adds a little something. That was my little point five right there. Like my oh. dick grew point five inches when you told me that. I could so fucking bit. <laughs> No, I adore these movies. I really do. They have such charm. And yes. I, yeah. Like, I mean, and a lot of them, like this one, I was like, yeah, I've probably seen it. And it was like, as soon as I turn it on, I'm like, oh, yeah, I've seen it. Oh, you are evil. You're evil. I, feel, I fucking feel like Brad's going to make like a like a Trump style hat that says like make Brad happy again. And it's going to be promoting okay, like don't so, don't make people. Like, Totally fucking escalated. recommend Italian like, cinema to us. He's a nerve. I don't. I didn't hate it. Like it, it got three point like, five is fucking brutes, dude. Well, gave, I'm. Hey, wait, I okay. sat here and I listened to you smash you Suspiria for like two hours, and you what gave you it a three. So there's no way that you liked this movie that much. With a three. What did you give well, the New York Ripper? Like approximately. I, I don't remember. Don't you have like some long running like tally? I have it? spreadsheets, but I'm not getting them out. I feel I, like the New York Ripper was like a six or something. Or if you, if okay, yeah. let's say you fucking were like, hey, Jason, how'd you like that new movie? Because you were thinking maybe I want to go see it. And I said it was a 3.5 out of 10. Would you go to the movie theater and see it? Or would you Fuck even fucking no. rent it? <laughs> so Fuck don't you no. tell me you didn't hate it. 3.5 <laughs> is fucking you were You were messaging us <laughs> during the, your whole watch. Oh, uh, yeah, I was expecting like a five. Dude. I was expecting yeah. something well, higher. The for reason sure. I can't give it a five is because if somebody said they wanted to watch it again, like, like say Josie came over and was like, "Dude, let's fucking watch it." Josie's on a vacation far away. I would be sucking Brad's dick. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna download. I'm gonna download that song. Um, then I no, but I would be like, I don't want to. So if I don't want to watch it again, it can't be fucking average. Boy. Yeah. Whatever. Jason and I give it. Same thing with sex. Yeah. I want to have it with you again. It just can't be average. God. <laughs> gotta raise the bar here, people. Yeah. Well, gotta raise Jason my bar. Like hey, what's, the exactly name of, what what's the name of that song? I'm gonna download it so I can uh, it. Your Love by Outfield. Yes. What yes. song? All right. Rebecca, Josie's on a vacation far away. Oh. <laughs> Well, my yes, kids have been unattended like for two straight fucking hours, so but thanks. They for have been a little bit older. Do, yes. do, do, do. They've been threatened with not getting to go to the pool if they bother their father. <laughs> yeah. The pool's probably dried up by now. That's how fucking long our, our uh, Whatever. No, difficulties I, have to go was, for. Was it, that was Elliot, right? Who was reciting, like, like... If we aren't good, we don't get to go to the pool ever again. But if we're good, <laughs> we get to go to the pool. Don't bring her up. I miss her so much right now. <laughs> aww. Aww. Well, you go that me. makes me go, oh, my baby girl. I need to go see her. We hang out with her. But, yeah. But they've been very good girls. Been yes. Very They're awesome. probably up there dead. Fucking heroin overdose. Yeah. Okay. We're not going there. But, anyway. Hey, I'm thanks, Jeff. I'm going to go find their heart in the fridge and not even acknowledge it. <laughs> You're going to be like, be like did I call the cops? Talking. What good would it do? <laughs> You're going to be like, yeah, look at that symbol. It's that symbol again. What about yeah. the fucking head, bitch? There's a head. It's in Deadpool or something. Dude. <laughs> Finds a heart in her fridge and her house fucking ransacked, shit missing that fucking pertains to the murder she knows has happened. And she's like, should I call the police? And he's like, And well, some nosy like reporter's Amazing. already been there too. Whatever. 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 That's a charm. I love it. All right, guys. Adios. Thanks, Jeff Floyd.